but I don't know. I try like things like these. I try to be more of like an extrovert, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Flash? Uh, I'm definitely more introvert. I don't agree with Cody with him saying he's introvert, no, but uh, he's definitely the the voice of of rain. Um, no, no, no. Yeah, I'm more more introvert up until you know I get to know people more, or whatever, and then I can be a bit bit loud and and all that. But yeah, otherwise, definitely more introvert. Yep, I am right there with you guys. If you would have told me like a year ago that I would be hosting AMAs. For a, a lot of what I do, um, I would have told you you're crazy. <laughs> but here we yeah, are. I was, yeah, like, I remember like the days of school, like public speaking, like or doing like presenting your project in front of the class. And no, I was terrified, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never never got straight A's on the presentations before, but uh, Me either you know my face would turn too red and I'd freeze up. <laughs> <laughs> Practice makes perfect, though right all right bitcoin or ethereum for a long-term hold maybe like 10 to 20 bitcoin. years bitcoin all right. I'd, bitcoin. yeah I'd, I'd say bitcoin too on top of that ether ether made me mad by turning off mining so yeah yeah i'm in the same i'm in the same boat so <laughs> fair enough yeah i i'm right there with you as well i think ethereum you can create another Ethereum or make a better version of Ethereum, but Bitcoin is like the OG digital gold. I don't think it's going to be much harder to replace a Bitcoin than it is to replace an Ethereum. I think. It's yeah, more for security sure. Security long term, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah I totally more, agree with that. Even like with the Lightning Network becoming more and more um, popular, I think I saw an article the other day that it had just crossed the five thousand Bitcoin mark on the Lightning Network, like. That's growing rapidly, and I mean, when you look at the the stats behind the Lightning Network, it's it's pretty much like superior to everything else out there in terms of you know transactions per second and and all the rest of it. So yeah, Bitcoin all the way. All right, all right. Uh, next question: Would you rather have a time machine and be or be able to travel anywhere instantaneously? Oh, okay. I like, I like that question. I so I would pick uh, travel anywhere instantaneously because if you think about it, right? All the shows you've watched, like anyone with a time machine, they usually go back and they mess something up, right? Everything happens the way it's supposed to happen. So, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm pretty good with the with instant transmission as well. Um, uh, like what Cody said with getting messed up and stuck in previous times like uh i think i'm pretty good with the times we're in and you know just being able to go anywhere within these times anywhere like i think we have it way too good now so um and uh compared to you know the olden days where uh way less healthcare and all the rest of that so yeah, i'd be be more worried about going back um rather than around instantly yeah Fair enough. Yeah, and if you are in the community, you can vote on these questions as well. Um, if you go up one channel from the AMA stage, it's the AMA polls channel. Um, but uh, the community has uh, disagreed with you guys on that one by a long shot, actually. Really? Yeah. Uh, they are open to just screwing with the whole history of time. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's awesome. The last question is, what are you most excited and interested about in crypto? Hmm, I mean, I, I guess for me, just like, I guess like the mass, I mean, eventually we know the mass adoption is coming. So I guess, you know, that looking forward to like that day when it's, you know, more of like a common household name, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of in the same boat, like... I've been around the space since 2013 or 2014. Like I was there with Mount Gox. Like I was watching my Bitcoin go from forty dollars or whatever it was down to like five dollars at the time. Um, it's just always so interesting to follow the whole scene. Um, it's it's in the way it's rapidly evolving and changing. And um, I remember go thinking like back in the day, like 
geez, looking at coin market cap, and there was only like 800 coins on there now, and it's now just some ridiculous number. So it's interesting to see how the space is evolving and um, and where we're headed. Uh, I definitely think the mass adoption thing, even if it's not in my lifetime, like just knowing that I was a part of this, like uh, that's really the exciting part for me. Yeah, no, I, I completely agree. It, it's really exciting to think about all of the different use cases that you know, blockchain technology allows and all of the people that are... You're starting to see people integrate it with different things or at least build towards that, but I think that's really going to be accelerated in the next few years here, and I'm, I'm very excited to be a part of the space. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. We'll be, we'll be along for the ride. Yeah, yeah. But with that being said, um, tell us a little bit about um, Rain Protocol. Um, give us like a 10,000-foot overview, and then I guess tell us a little bit about yourselves as well. Okay. Um, I guess a little bit of overview. We are a rebasing protocol. Uh, I guess we, we're rebasing protocol with, you know, we have, a, I guess, a little bit of everything. Like our main goal, you know, to, especially during the bear market is, you know, Everyone likes going to a place where they can go and, you know, collect passive income. And, you know, that's our goal to keep that around. Um, so, I mean, we slide over. We kind of have a little bit of everything. We've got a whale tax. Uh, we have mining coming. Um, we've got staking, flexible staking. Uh, we got an RPG came, coming. Um, we've got the RMS and RTS system. So, a really unique um, system, you know, similar to Horde, but it's a rebellion system, which I would say is, you know, quite a bit substantially better pairing that with the the tax system that allows us to take our taxes in um, USD plus instead of our native token. So I guess a really quick overview, that's, you know, that. And then as far as like my background, you know, I've been in DeFi for quite a while. I was a miner before this, um, which is kind of where the mining idea came from along with Flash. Um, but I've been in, you know, a little bit of every project. Um, you know, I've been rugged. I've, I've done well in some. So Obviously, you know, we focused on like security and everything because that's not a good feeling, you know, to get rugged or lose your funds. And but yeah, I mean, so we've been in the space for a while and we saw a lot of, you know, opportunity to make changes we thought would be a lot better and then learn from the mistakes of others and, you know, generated our own protocol from that. Gotcha. Yeah. And I think that's a, a very good overview. Um, are you able to chat a little bit about those changes that you made um what were the problems that you saw what are the changes that you made to solve those problems yeah so i guess one of the the big problems i mean i don't know you know you see people come out and a lot of them you know it's more of you know they rely on ponzi nomics you know so i mean obviously you want to get away from that because that's not sustainable right especially in the bear market so even before you know we we launched our pre-sale and stuff we had you know some early investors and you know a lot of those funds went straight into investments and um, we're still adding more and more investments um, as we're going you know so not rely so much on you know new investors money coming in because you want to be able to sustain you know the ecosystem you have and so along with that, you know, introduce, we think introducing the mining, we, ha we have uh, NFTs coming as well, utility NFTs that can both be used inside and outside the RPG game. And uh, yeah, we, and along with, you know, our whale tax system, um, you know, there's, you know, quite a bit of things. And even like on the side of security, you know, we were, we've been very transparent and open about all of our things we've done so far. We have two KYCs, we're docs to um, Simsala. I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with him in the DeFi, but yeah, so quite quite a few things that we're aiming to change. Got it. Yeah, and I think from what I understand about your guys' protocol right now, I think that the whale tax system is one of the biggest changes from before, um, especially with the way that it works. Uh, I know a lot yeah. of people try to implement a whale tax system, but it's sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. Um, chat a little bit about what you guys do. Yeah, so I'd say that's that's pretty unique. Um, you know, Flash came up with this idea basically. So the easiest way to put it is you can sell your daily rebase, you know, times two. So say if I, you know, rebase $100 in a day. Well, in that day, I can sell two of those. So I can sell $200 worth. And anything more than that is a 70% tax. So there's essentially, you know, a 24-hour timer on your uh, your sell, in, um, it, which it shows on the D app, you know, the amount you can sell today. 
So yeah, we thought that was a, a pretty good change. You know, you you can withdraw a little bit normal. You know, we've seen systems like lock pay and everything, but this one you can withdraw a little bit normal, and then you can still withdraw all your funds. If you would just you know get hit with that whale tax. So that idea is you know come back every day, you know take a rebase or two a day, and yeah. Got it. Yeah, that's that's very interesting. So it basically stops people from dumping all of their holdings at once, uh, maybe taking advantage of a pre-sale or, or something of the sorts. Um, exactly. Nice. Yeah, more of like inclines people to, you know, use the system as it was intended to be used. Yeah, yeah, that definitely makes sense. Um, and then going uh, on top of the topic of rebasing and revenue streams, I know a lot of people have come to learn that unless there's revenue streams supporting a liquidity management system or a rebasing project, then they quickly fade out. So what are those revenue streams that you guys are building up and your argument as to um, why you have solved that issue of rebasing tokens or LMS failing? Um, I'm curious to hear your thoughts on that. Yeah, so I guess one of the big, big ones, you know, like, you know, not related to investments would be that RMS and RTS system, you know, and going along the sides of that, the tax system. Um, when we get our taxes, you know, they're, you know, we get paid out in USD plus, right? So we don't, we're not stacking a bunch of native tokens there for contract sales, which, you know, as we've seen before, ends up in big red candles. So we can actually take that USD plus and do buybacks and burns and, you know, turn those actually you know into the opposite so there'll be green candles right um and so as far as investments you know we're we've got a pretty sizable investment in stable fund um today we're making a pretty sizable investment in opt2 um and then we also utilize the alchemy uh, trading bot as well as a pretty big part and so we just actually had um a couple of investments on those uh two of them turned out 2.83 percent a day and then one was actually doing over five percent a day so those were are pretty lucrative so far and then just to add um it's it's a bit up in the air at the moment but we have quite a few um sizable miners uh with us that we um will be using uh the mining side of things to also then use uh, buybacks and in our own treasury investments etc so um when when it kicks off um we should have a pretty good uh front running with that um which we so far anyway are the first ones to offer proof of work um mining for our uh, for our rebases and and DeFi pro uh for the DeFi protocol side of things so um yeah it's a uh, it's an interesting space. We'll see how it goes as um, we all know Ethereum, Ethereum switched off and we um, will see how that network cash rate moves around more in the coming months. But that'll also be, um, you know, a longer term thing for generating income. And I think a lot of the miners know that, you know, long term, it's all going to be OK. I've, I've seen, seen it over the years, you know, coins come and go. Um, there's still plenty, plenty of miners out there that are are ready to to mine and hold. So, yeah, that's the other the other side of it. Got it. Yeah, I mean that's a, a lot of a lot of different investments that are bringing in. Well, uh, hopefully, uh, you know, a lot of things are, are risky in the space, bringing in you know one plus percent a day. Um, I know. Alchemy, we're having them on for an AMA on Thursday, and, and Austin's uh, showing his Alchemy bot in chat right now. <laughs> oh, dang, yeah. They're a good group of guys over there. Yeah, we love them over there. But yeah, that thing, that, that bot's awesome. It's, I mean, yeah, if you haven't used it yet, you should check it out because it's, it's pretty dang cool. Yeah, I was on a call with them a couple of days ago, and I haven't heard of grid trading previously. I think I've heard of the concept, but I didn't know it was called grid trading and, and how exactly it works. And it is it is very interesting um but, yeah uh, it's, it's pretty wild yeah hey all i can say is that i know it works <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly i'm curious to dive in a little bit on your investment in stable fund um what was the thought process behind that i know i know a lot of people are saying it's it's risky uh, people are shady i guess is maybe a better word um yeah so i mean you know, I, I mean, you could say that, I don't know, it's kind of like, 
you know, sometimes it's hard to, you know, there's hearsay and all that. I mean, you could say that about any, I mean, you could, you know, you could say that about us, you could say that about anyone, you know, um, you kind of just got to go with your gut and kind of, you know, do, obviously you do your own research, but even before, like we put the treasure in it, I was in it. I've been in it for like over 60 days now. Um, I mean, they've been around six, seven months. Um, you know, some people say they don't have trading bots or, you know, things like that, but I mean, they've been around what, six, seven months constantly paying people out. So, like I said, I mean, I, I've never had a problem with it. You know, I, you see things about people getting hacked and all that, but, you know, 99% of that time, that's probably, you know, their fault. Maybe, you know, they're on Telegram or whatever and, you know, bot message them and they don't know any better, you know. So, yeah. Got it. Yeah, I haven't done a ton of research into them. Um, so I was just curious. I know I've, I've heard a lot of mixed things about them. Um, yeah, no, like I said, I mean, I've done a lot of research and even, you know, my personal you know investment with them is you know pretty comparable to what i felt comfortable putting the treasury in so yeah and i mean so far it's you know it's working awesome i mean we're doing we're able to do quite large you know buybacks and then straight you know profit to the rms or treasury and yeah nice yeah no that's uh it's exciting to see how a lot of these different things play out especially especially with trading bots and especially with alchemy you know being a different type of bot that is uh I, mean, I don't even know how to describe it it's like it, it doesn't rely on specific market conditions to my understanding yeah i mean you could essentially you know you make money on the way up or you can make money on the way down it's pretty pretty advanced i'd say yeah it's it's really interesting um we, we do have a question in the chat we got a lot of questions in chat um oh. this one in particular is about marketing uh, General X says marketing is currently one major issue found or for new projects because the liquidity protocol industry is becoming really congested. How will Rain Protocol beat the competition and attract much more investors than liquidity protocols? Yeah, and so on that note, um, you know, I found you know obviously you know it's no secret we're in a bear market. Everything. Um, I found that a lot of the best way to spread the word is more AMAs and partnership. You know, kind of, we're all kind of helping each other, you know, just like this, for example, you know, we're all, you know, helping each other. We all have the same common goal in DeFi and, you know, we all want to make money. Um, but yeah, I mean, definitely the traditional way of marketing, you know, YouTube videos, things like that, you know, they don't essentially bring in the traction they used to. Um, but as far as like that, I mean, we are, we have funds delicate marketing, we're doing AMAs like that, but you know, we don't necessarily want to rely on, you know, new investor volume because, I mean, essentially that's, you know, a Ponzi, right? So our ecosystem needs to be sustainable with our investments as it is. So a lot of our focus goes into that, you know, making that sustainable and, you know, the people that are with us now and everything are, you know, reaping the benefits of that. Yeah, that, that definitely makes sense. Um, Flash, I saw you unmuted. Do you have something to add? Yeah, and just add like we are working on a whole new um, dashboard and um, we've got a boot box system as well uh, in the works that's actually uh, pretty much completed um, and we just need to get that all uh, the UI side of things done there and then deploy it out um, where users can come in and buy essentially loot boxes that um, hold NFTs and, and other other things that we're still deciding on. Um, so that money will also come in and help, you know, fund further things um, and give the users benefit uh, based on those. Things. So like tax deductions or um, APR, uh, APR boosts, um, for example. And then, yeah, we've got, we haven't really been pushing um, marketing, et cetera, that hard because we're waiting on that um, new dashboard and new UR to come out. Um, so, uh, I think if you join in our Discord or even just our, our Twitter, you'll see um, if you scroll up a bit in announcements that uh, what an example of the, the new uh, UR looks like. So um, if you want to check that out, you can do that there. Um, and yeah, so once that's all out, we'll then you know push a little bit harder for marketing and, and some YouTubes, uh, uh, et cetera, you know, so that we've got that new UR in um in the marketing side of things so once all that's done we'll also then you know push harder for, for all that stuff 
got it. Yeah, and like also to expand on that, I feel like, you know, what people like to see, they like to see longevity and a stable chart, you know, and you get both those things, you know, over time, you'll get that stable chart and, you know, essentially, you know, seeing a stable chart for, you know, six months, obviously, you know, it's going to boost investor confidence. So I'd say, you know, something like that is also, you know, one of your greatest marketing tools. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Also, just creating that trust, you know, in the space by doing, like Cody said earlier, AMAs and partnerships. Um, I, the trust is obviously a huge thing in the space, even more so during a bear market where people are hesitant, you know, to put uh, money into uh, different projects and things. Um, you know, the prices of all their more uh, solid investments, say Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever, um, you know, being lower. So people are hesitant to do that. So just creating that trust um, through AMAs and partnerships and, you know, being as transparent as we can be. A lot of our community will say, you know, we're, we're pretty active in there and, you know, uh, very open and uh, uh, approachable when it comes to, to any questions. Um, however, you know, tough or dumb they may be, we're, we're there to help and create that, that trust. Yeah, yeah, I like it. That, that definitely makes a lot of sense. And I think that trust piece and, and just being consistently stable um, or having a s consistently stable chart and really using that as proof of concept, like, hey, guys, this this has been working. Um, I think proof of concept is the best marketing tool in DeFi by a long shot. Exactly. So I like yeah, I mean, you, you, you saw that, like, even with, uh, if you're familiar with OPT2, I mean, they spread like wildfire, you know, they kind of had a new concept. And then it, you know, it just exploded. Yeah. And you know, from uh, from their standpoint, I mean, they said they've spent you know zero on marketing. Um, you know, it's all just you know word of mouth and and the proof. Yeah. Do we have an example of the the charts in chat yet? I haven't actually looked because that'll then give a you know oh, anyone that has yeah maybe maybe lamp or someone could get it. I'm on my phone, so it'd be a little harder to screenshot. Yeah, yeah, same, yeah. Yeah, I can pull up a screenshot. Uh, actually, no, never mind. Uh, Lamp did it. Yeah, oh, dang. <laughs> See, that's what I was like, Lamp's fast. <laughs> yeah, he is fast. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I figured I saw him in here. I was like, I bet Lamp could do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's awesome, that's though. That's funny. Um, yeah, no, that, that is super awesome. Let's... I guess moving. On. I'm trying to cover like, all of the, the big pieces before uh, we move on to the Kahoot at the end because I know um, you guys oh, do, yeah, sure. do have <laughs> other stuff to get to today. So I want to be very respectful of your time. Um, oh no worries. Yeah. But the next topic I wanted to cover was your relationship with the Rebellion. I know you're using a lot of their services and are are working pretty closely with them. So I'm curious to hear uh, the details of that. Is it considered a partnership? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like, I, I mean, me and, me and Brent, you know, we kind of, we didn't talk a whole lot back in the day, but we were both like advisors and, uh, in sphere. And, you know, then I reached out to him one day when I was starting the project and, uh, you know, was curious about YouTube and, you know, I said, you know, he was my favorite YouTuber cause I, you know, I enjoyed his videos. He had made some like quality in depth videos. And so I was curious about, you know, him doing one on rain and then, then it kind of just, you know, flourished from there. It got into, Oh, well he's been making his own project and, all that and then you know he approached me one day when i i was looking at you know a, like a lms system to use and then he's like oh i actually have one he's like if you're interested and then it's like i also have this tax system and everything and i was like oh man this can have been perfect timing so yeah we we're, we're pretty close and it's just you know it's it's grown over the last few months so yeah he's he's an awesome guy and it's an awesome project over there I like it. Um, Flash, I saw you unmuted. Did you have something to add? Yeah, I think it was just kind of like it worked out so well because of the way um, that the RMS system, you know, works and taxes. And just even before we had, uh, were talking about an LMS, just like how to, you know, how would you tax everybody uh, up towards the 70% mark or whatever, um, you know, to keep funds within the protocol protecting the project protecting the people um so then when you know the lms system well our rms in this case came around um <laughs> with brain it was like a no-brainer to um to implement that because again with that 
being able to use uh, USD plus instead of, you know, rain, we we actually able to, you know, properly buy back and burn rather than send it to a dead wallet, which doesn't actually take it out of circulation. And, you know, this way it actually creates solid green candles uh, on the, the, on the graphs and, um, you know, takes the coin out of circulation. So yeah, it's a, it was a like perfect timing, um, with Brent. Yeah, I see Lamp, Lamp actually posted like an example of our new UI. He's teasing us. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's, I mean, yeah, it's it's really close. I mean, um, it sound what what they say, Flash? It sounded like October 5th was everything should be um, completed so we could go ahead and uh, implement it after that. So it, it's, cl- it's really close, which is awesome. Yeah, that looks super, super nice. Yeah, yeah. A, lot, a lot better than what we got now. <laughs> yeah, give it's a, they said like give or take the fifth, sixth, somewhere around there, just getting it all deployed out and um, final bug checks and all the rest of it. But yeah, it's it's pretty much running um, in the background at the moment um, and working. So yeah, it's uh, we're pretty excited for that. Um, I, I think in the last AMA we had when I posted um, that new UI, like it was among the most uh, reacted to posts we'd actually had, so people are super keen for that um, for that new UR. So yeah, yeah. I see here on one of the screenshots um, the Holy Grail. I think that is a mechanism that we haven't touched up on yet. So I'm uh, curious to hear a little bit about it. Yeah, so that it's just basically you know anyone. It's almost it's a bonus for anyone staked. Um, once a day, uh, the Holy Grail will activate, and it's actually a random percentage. So for for that rebase, you know, it's a three to ten percent um, APR, you know, equivalent of the you know APR daily um, for that one re- or for those two rebases. Sorry, so one one epoch a day. So it's just a little little something extra for being staked. And some it's, well, it's pretty cool to look forward just, to, you know. Just to correct Cody, the Holy Grail itself is just the. Um, the staking side of things so you get 30 45 and 60 days um each have their own percentages um and then uh then cody was talking about the holy grail showers which is basically the when it activates um uh, once a day uh, and then you get that random three to ten percent um apr for what essentially is an hour um on top of that so yeah it's uh it's basically the staking plus bonus um, system on top of it got it oh that's interesting um yeah i, I i'm just still I look, think i'm still looking at the ui images i mean that's, it looks really good <laughs> mesmerizing huh <laughs> oh yeah I, I think i think we're sitting at like 197 holders at the moment so that's pretty decent um from uh which within the the staking system so yeah it's that's pretty good. And then also just to add on the staking system, a lot of the staking systems like you, well, of, of previous, you, you'd have to stake and then wait for that, um, you know, once those days unlock to get uh, your money out. Uh, whereas with Rain, you stake, but you're still able to claim um, your daily rebases out of the, um, the staking side of things. So you can actually still, you know, generate a daily income even though your initial funds um, are locked for those 30, 45 and 60 days so um, depending on price action and all the rest of it you may even just you know straight up roi just taking out that money um, every day up until your days are are done so yeah that, that you've locked in i don't know too many projects that do it that way so yeah there's also that yeah yeah no that's it's very interesting um is there anything that we haven't uh, touched up on yet i know we've been bouncing around quite a bit trying to fit everything in before the kahoot um but yeah um i think i mean we t- we touched on quite a bit you know we touched on security everything like that we briefly touched on nfts you know the the collection itself is actually that's you know that's been done um the contracts with the loot box should be done today and then our testing for the nft system should be done by the 12th um from our devs so yeah that'll that'll be exciting you know and then we'll be able to mint those loot boxes and it's based on rng you know so there's five five tiers of nfts and 
you know, it's going to be a low barrier to entry NFTs, you know, loot boxes. Um, we're dialing in the range, but somewhere be- bet- or, uh, between like 15 and probably $100, depending on, you know, what tier of loot box it is. Um, but yeah, so it'll be a low barrier to entry. It'll be, you know, something fun, you know, someone who might not normally be able to get a super expensive NFT, you know, might get lucky and mint one. So yeah, it's just kind of a cool, fun aspect to it. Got it. We, we have a bunch of people in chat asking for some alpha. So, uh, oh. <laughs> one of those asking you shall receive type of days or we, we hold. Oh, uh, what do you think? Uh, <laughs> I mean, we give out alpha all the time. <laughs> Just by saying, you know, the loot box system is almost ready, or basically is ready, and um, some of the dates for the DApps and all that I know a lot of our community members have been waiting for. um, That I would say is a lot of alpha right there. Um, We've been we saw saw how it works too, and it's going to be addicting. Opening it and then, oh man, yeah, it's it's going to be bad. I yeah, opened so that, one. And I was like, I want to open twenty more. <laughs> yeah, that's that's been a lot of alpha already there. So for the guys that are already with us, um, they wouldn't have wouldn't have known known much about that in terms of release times and all that. So yeah, that's uh, that's something else. <laughs> Got it. I think um, I think that satisfied the alpha demand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got one last question from austin um before we move on to the kahoot but actually while i ask that question i'm going to drop the link to join um and also the uh, room code so you guys can hop in Um, the room code is d929r i'll type that out but if you guys want to hop in while i ask this question um, please go right ahead but austin clark is asking to speak on the concerns of how shallow liquidity is especially for a rebasing token yeah, I mean that. I mean, it's all all the functions essentially work together. Um, you know, there's not you know some wallet with a you know bunch of tokens that could drain it. You know, and even if someone wanted to empty their wallet, you know, they get hit with the whale tax. You know, the seventy percent. And um, on top of that, like the 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 liquidity as it is was designed to be that amount. Um, we did quite extensive testing with Brent and his devs on you know the range range for the floor and the ceiling, and then you know effectively you know, the amount it would take to buy and bounce off the ceiling and then, you know, go to the floor. So yeah, that was all, all that was on purpose by design. So. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Um, how has the health of the RMS been? Has the, uh, the balance in there been staying the same? Has it been steady? Is it, uh, increased or decreased or. Yeah, no, it's, I mean, it's been steady. Like I said, the first two days or something, I believe the balance went up by over 12,000 or so. And then, like I said, and then our investments, you know, we, as we see fit, we'll, I delegate some to buybacks and then I delegate um, some to, you know, the RMS directly. And then we haven't, we actually are, we have a injection to make too. We haven't even touched any of our um, tax funds that get sent to the treasury that are also used for buybacks in the RMS. So, I mean, everything's, everything's looking awesome. That's good to hear. No, that's exciting. Um, yeah. yeah, we're excited. So, just to add, like, once the new D app is out, we'll be pushing um, a lot more AMAs and talking about more partnerships and all that. Basically, we've just been waiting on um, the new UR to come out. Um, so, like, you know, we can actually <laughs> – we've had, obviously, some concerns around the existing one looking a bit scammy, which I have to agree with. So, you know, once that's – that's all out. Um, we we'll then push harder for, you know, more AMAs, more partnerships that we've already got some lined up, and um, and then you know a bit more marketing as well, so that the the influencers or YouTubers or whoever we go with, um, you know, can use that new new UR. So yeah, that's also it's all been part of the plan, like to to hold off and get make sure you know the the project and protocol itself <laughs> is actually working. Um, as it should, like, you know, Cody and I have been bug testing a lot of it in production, or in this case, live. Um, you know, we found a couple bugs that uh, we've gotten worked out. And, yeah, so that's that's been part of the whole strategy is to, to make sure the core functionality is working. Um, and then once the new UI is out, we'll then push harder for um, more people and AMAs um, 
you know, marketing side of things. So yeah, it's uh, um, even like now with our Twitter account, that's gotten a, a heck of a lot more active. Um, we've got a really, really good guy helping us out with that. Um, and yeah, so it's all been been part of the plan to start slow and then build from there rather than just push it all out, you know, all at once and finding issues and bugs and whatever that may be, you know, potentially harmful to the protocol. Um, and, and yeah, seeing how the system handles um, the, you know, everything from launch that we've, we've done so far. So, and so far it's been, been really, really good. So it's, it's kind of all just going along according to plan. Um, and like Cody was saying with the, the ceiling and uh, floor price, um, a lot of number crunching went into those, um, those figures that we have now, um, just to keep that uh, stability and um, you know the money within uh, within the system, rather than generating massive pumps and dumps, even on more uh, more loose ranges of the ceiling and, and floor prices. So yeah, it's been been pretty strategic planning um, the whole way through, all the way down to the way um, the 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 holy grail works in terms of like. When you stake, um, you can't go and add more to that existing stake. Um, so, like a lot of people have asked that, but we've worked it so that even if you uh, stake for sixty days and then you have to stake for forty-five or thirty, if you want to add to that, like it's all part of you know the the sustainability and um, protection of the the projects. Because you know when you protect the project, you're protecting the people as well. So that's kind of what we've been pushing for. It's just Stability, bug testing, um, you know, making sure everything works as it should. So, so far, we're really happy with, with the way that's been been going. Yeah, <clears throat> uh, I like it. I mean, that definitely makes sense. And I'll just give it like 30 seconds more for people to join in the Kahoot. Um, we're playing for $50. The winner will get uh, 50 BUSD sent to their address. So if you guys want a shot at 50 bucks, then... Uh, Go right ahead. Austin says he needs 43 seconds to join in. Hurry up. Uh, Speed up, buddy. Hurry. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm curious to see who wins that. <laughs> Is it just one winner? Or... Yeah. Yeah. So okay, it, cool. it gives you points based off of if you answer the question correctly and how fast you answer it. So you oh, that's cool. Okay. Too. Yeah. You're going to show me how to, how to do that. That's cool. Yeah. I'm, I like that. Definitely. I can. Uh, after the AMA, if you want to. I don't chat about setting this up. I mean, I think it's super cool. It's a great educational opportunity for people too. I mean, it rewards yeah, people for actually learning. Cool yeah, no, I actually really like that. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully the questions were all right. <laughs> Some I, my I think they were, were good. Open. I think they were good. But we will go <laughs> ahead and start the quiz. Um, we can ask a couple more questions too as the quiz is going. Um, there's one guy that wanted to... Uh, touch up on different partnerships that you guys have and, and how those play a significant role in um, your guys' ecosystem. Yeah, I feel like, you know, two of the main ones, obviously, you know, Rebellion and USD Plus, you know, USD Plus being, you know, our liquidity pair. And with that, you know, both the stable and unstable side of the LPs are both essentially rebasing. Um, you know, Rebellion's the obvious one with the RTS system and RTM system, you know, providing stability and the ability to not have contract sales and, you know, green candles on the chart for those buybacks. Um, as well as, you know, our partnership with Mod Society, you know, that's who we went through, through, you know, our KYC audits, um, everything like that, you know, and then some other ones like Alchemy and utilizing their trading bots. And yeah, so those have all been, those have all been working out really awesome. I like it. I like it. Any uh, Elf Alpha for some partnerships that are in the works? <laughs> uh there's one some people probably know it um let me see how i can word this buy okay buying the nfts is not going to be in usd plus but there is a plus in it i don't know Ooh. if that helps <laughs> something smells I, yeah. of mdb <laughs> I, i've never heard of them <laughs> yeah, <maybe. laughs> i don't know yeah who are those guys <laughs> but <laughs> So, yeah, there's definitely things going on in the background in the works for, you know, more partnerships. So, yeah. That's good to hear. Good to hear. Yeah. And actually, let's. I don't think we touched up too much on the NFTs. 
Um, is there any that we, I guess, didn't touch up on or maybe going in a little bit more in depth on, you know, what those are used for? Um, I think, I think we covered a little bit, basically, I think, you know, flat when either flash did or maybe I did, but yeah, I mean, those, you know, basically, you know, long-term goal is they'll have, you know, use inside the RPG game. Um, obviously, you know, the better NFT you have, the more you're going to be able to do, the more you're going to be able to earn inside the game. Um, and then, you know, instant utility when they come out, you're going to get, you know, ta- pretending or depending on which tiers you have, you know, you're going to get certain tax breaks and then even, a a holy grail uh, APR boost as well. So it'll definitely be lucrative both inside and outside of that RPG game. And then I think, you know, the way to acquire them is going to be, you know, quite exciting with the, with the loot box system. Yeah. And it's also, um, the, I think lamp posted some, um, some of the footage. It was a very small clip, um, of the game itself. So it's not looking to be, you know, your, clash of clans or you know one of those type of games um and also um the nfts themselves will be stackable in the um within your dashboard so like you can stack for a certain amount you know like say you want three that give you an ap wabus and then one that gives you a tax reduction or or you know you can choose how um you want to play your cards essentially um and get the most rewards um out of that so yeah that's the nft sort of the thing is is um the artwork and and uh, a lot of that which like i said i think lamp posted already um a lot of, a lot of that stuff is already all done um it's just a case of you know the last bit of integration and um you are uh uh, and all that type of thing. So yeah, it's uh, uh, it's all it's all definitely coming very, very, very soon. Yeah, and I guess if Flash, if you if you did, you could also if you want to touch like on the the experience of the RPG game dev who also made the NFTs, but like maybe just touch on his experience because um, he's a pretty yeah. uh, amazing guy. Yeah. So um, well, I can go on both the the dev and um, the the RPG. Uh, an NFT guy. So the devs, they've been around um, a very, very uh, trusted dev house in the space um, since about 2016. Um, they've made a lot of, a lot of projects. Um, and uh, so they, they're very well established. Um, and the actual RPG side of things, um, I don't know how much, uh, I mean, he, he's pretty well docked to the community. He's, um, he's been in quite a few things, including, you know, TV show, TV shows and all that. Um, so I know him personally, um, he's been one of my best mates for, for many, many years, um, and grew up, grew up together. Um, and yeah, he's a, a phenomenal, um, phenomenal game developer. He's, he created one of the first, uh, blockchain games ever, um, back in, early 2016 2017 um and yeah he's uh uh he's got his own nft project as well on the solana side of things um and yeah so he's he's a really good guy um incredibly passionate um loves (laughs) he said rain has honestly been one of the the most fun projects he's worked on thus far um and he he wouldn't just say that so yeah uh, there's a lot of passion going into that um and it's it's just great to have you know such good backing behind us with this type of stuff so um making something unique and different and uh and engaging so taking from past you know experiences and projects um and and putting that putting that forward to us so yeah it's uh it's a good one yeah that's super exciting stuff we haven't touched up too much on the uh rpg game but it sounds like it's uh, coming along pretty dang well. That's exciting. Looks like some people tied. Uh-oh. Yeah, we uh, we had to uh, kill it with coffee and Austin Clark tie the Kahoot. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> We've never had a tie before. It's That's crazy. The next, the third place person had like 100 less points than them. So they were, oh, wow. They were neck and neck the entire time. Dude, I ended I, up tying. Yeah. <laughs> 
that's crazy that that's so they had to like click at the same wow that's pretty wild much, pretty much yeah they got they got fast fingers yes they do if you guys want to dm me your wallet addresses um i'll i can split the reward with you or um i can it sounds like austin said he would want to want to just give it to uh kill it with coffee so whatever works for me um oh <laughs> okay yeah kill it with coffee it sounds like you're gonna get the full prize austin clark is a generous guy Dang. what a nice guy <laughs> so if you want to just dm me your wallet address i will get that sent over um, but with that, I appreciate you guys hopping on. Uh, this has been phenomenal. Um, super yeah, excited that was, to that was awesome. yeah, I'm super excited to you know see you, your progress. You know, as you guys grow, super excited to see the new uh, DAP release. Exciting stuff. Uh, but yeah, right? Any, yeah, we're, we're pumped. Any uh, last words for the audience? Yeah, and thank you again for having us on and everything. This was awesome. You've been an awesome host. I appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate it. You been bet. Really, um, uh, it's been such an easy flowing uh, AMA as well. So, yeah, it's, it's handled really well. And thanks so much. I'm sure we'll have uh, another one with you guys later on. Um, you know, as time time progresses and rain goes and progresses with it. So, yeah, thanks so much. You yeah, bet. for sure. I'm looking forward to having you guys back on. <laughs> Kill it with coffee says that fifty dollars going straight to the Holy Grail. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, and if like if anyone's questions maybe didn't get answered, or everything, um, don't uh, you know? Feel free to join our Discord and like like Flash said, we're there you know ninety nine percent of the time. So feel free to ask us anything you want. Yeah, sounds good. I know we did have a lot of questions that we didn't have time to get to. So if you guys do need to get your questions answers, like you said, um, they're very open. So. I appreciate that. I appreciate you guys coming on. I appreciate the audience for taking time out of their day to hear what we have to say. I mean, it's very humbling to have over 40 of you guys tuning in. I mean, that is phenomenal. Yeah, that was awesome. But, yeah, I mean, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Cool, man. Yep, thank you. Back to work for me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. Everybody.